would rather have more lands, but this is definitely not bad. Yeah. Well, he, he had turn one silent departure, and you know. And he's just gonna. And he's mulling to like some tiny number, so who cares? Yeah. It's definitely a also. Number. I'm on oh. the play, so. I'm not gonna die so fast. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. Rune Chanter's Pike. Great. And then your scabs are going to help fill up your graveyard. My scabs and my crabs. <laughs> scabs and crabs. Oh no, he can tap your zombies. Yep. I still just play this, right? Yeah. I think so. Why would you not? Desperate ravings. And a bunch of lands. <laughs> Which you need. Yeah. <clears throat> One of which is the forest. So unless I draw memory's journey, I can never get that forest. Here's well, it's land. Lands. Should I just grasp his guy? Why? Next turn I can equip and attack. Okay. I guess that doesn't really matter. Yeah. Maybe I should just alchemy for whatever. Alchemy for burning yeah. vengeance. Yeah, I think that's better. But, like, I do need to play this before I burning vengeance, too. And he seems to have... He's stuck on three lands, right? Yeah, oh, no. I mean... No, he's not. Oh. I mean, he could feasibly grasp. But I think that forbidden alchemy is a better play. You don't need to play the scab. Yeah, okay. Oh. Tapped your guy there. Sure did. Sorry about that. What? Why is he not playing any cards? I don't know. It's kind of weird. He's green-white. This seems incorrect. What? I guess well, I'll get this watch keep. Yeah. That's more mana sources in your graveyard, though. Yeah. Sure is. Oh, well. Oh, no. Speaking of not having mana sources. Speak of the devil. Uh, the I think devil I, being not I just, having mana I guess sources. I don't want to grasp his guy now. But I want to depart his guy. Sure. On the other hand, that might give him a play if he doesn't have one next turn. Maybe I just play this and say go. Yeah. I don't think now you want to be playing the tempo game, really. There's, like, no real reason to. Yeah. <clears throat> Tapping down your guy. Oh, maybe he'll play, like, maybe he's ramping up to a dearly departed. Oh. Okay. A little late to the party there, Hamley Captain. Man. This is. Oh. oh. Well, that's great. That is great. Should I wait for him to do it again? <clears throat> um. Yes. Because I, think I can you always. play another armored scab. <laughs> Or if you can, oh, good, murder pros. That's oh, just what yeah, you yeah. do. And then next turn, I just <laughs> next turn you silent departure and grasp of phantasms, and ruin his day. Yes, correct. To be fair, that last one is just simply a product of the first two. You could attack. Oh, <laughs> watch out now. You watch out. turn. Tap in the murder of crows. Even more than carrion, they crave the last... What? It doesn't seem evolutionarily advantageous. No. And I had the zoo book on birds, and it definitely didn't mention this, so I'm gonna say that that's lying. 
Yeah, that's probably not true if it's not in the zoo book. Like, that's that would be, like, a fun fact for a sidebar. Yeah, no, definitely. And it wasn't there, so... Who am I going to believe? The people that know how to write those books? Or... Whoever wrote that flavor text. I don't even know who wrote it. What is he trying to do? Should I just block? Yeah, but not with your watch key. Yeah, with the scab. Yeah. Because, like, who cares if your scab dies? You have mm -hmm. another one. He's replaceable. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, he just didn't want to attack with this so that he can tap down my guy, maybe? Maybe he'll play another guy and But, like, I don't understand why he didn't flash back the travel prep. Oh, he preyed upon... My scab. Who cares? Yeah, what a weirdo. What a weirdo. Are you gonna discard your scab or your deranged assistant? Maybe my deranged assistant, honestly? I don't know, it's a mana source. Maybe my scab. You don't really seem like you need walls right now. He has one card left. Yeah. Like, is he gonna flash back the travel prep? I don't know why he wouldn't have flash back travel know. prep and then preyed upon your murder of crows. Well, it's because he wants to... Uh, he wants to play that spider you can easily bounce? Like, who cares? Why didn't he just play this and then kill my murder of crows? I don't Whatever. Even... No, because then you wouldn't have had Morbid triggered. I mean, he wouldn't have had Morbid triggered. Well, whatever. I don't know. What a... Yeah, who li like, who even cares? Frankly. <laughs> oh, can you... Should I grasp his spider? Um, yeah. If he draws another land, he can... <clears throat> Play the spider. Oh, because he wanted the morbid trigger. That's why he couldn't well, just. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think that you should. I think that you should grasp his spider, and then equip Runecatcher's Pike to the Murder of Crows and attack. Mm. Because you don't want to use Silent Departure. Yeah. Because you can draw out the um, travel prep. And, you know, you can just attack for a billion. Well, it's seven. There's only three, really? Oh, because all those mana sources. Yeah. Eh, whatever. It just happens. Like, yeah. it just... It doesn't matter how many are in here. It's not reducing his clock any. Well, I mean, if there were a bunch in there, it would. There would have to be three more in here for this to be a two-turn clock. What are you... Oh, is he, like, debating flashing it back? But, like, what does that do? Yeah, yeah he did it, it though. Good. Great. <clears throat> I guess he'll just swing for th with both? I guess so. He probably has more prey upon, but I really don't care if this guy dies. Well, like, it doesn't matter, also, because... Also, he's not attacking. He didn't draw a prey upon, he drew the spider. Oh, right. Yeah. No, but he could have had another one in hand. Well, whatever. He didn't have any cards in hand. Okay. I guess you just sound like just do you just silent departure his Hamlet captain, and then think twice. An assistant. I think I want to silent departure his priest. Well, the reason why I was saying his Hamlet captain is if he does draw a prey upon at some point in the future. Well, I could just do both of them too. Yeah, I just want well, to get I guess the priest back into his hand so I can attack. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And plus, you want the priest, like, to be within Burning Vengeance range. And right now he's not. You'd have to have two. Uh-huh. I think I just... The range assistant, and then pass... You think I just derange assistant and pass? Yeah. Oh, do you want to think twice? Well, I was also thinking of just departing <clears throat> this, but... No, nah, there's no real reason Yeah, to. you're right, I'm at 20. What I mean, there? you could think twice to try to draw into Burning Vengeance, but, like, I think having derange assistant out and milling you is better. Yeah, I think I'm gonna think twice and then equip the pipe over him in my turn or something. Oh, no, I don't need to do that at all. Okay. I just think twice to get more... Spells in my graveyard. Yeah.
Oh yeah, and then next turn I can silent the part his priest again or something. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's wonderful. Funny. Like that, you can almost kill him on your turn. With Templar? Well, I mean, you Templar anyway because it kills his sentry and yeah. his priest. And he probably scoops at that point. But yeah. you should mill with your assistant just to see what you get. Oh, no. <laughs> I've ruined it. I've ruined everything. Never listen to me again. I won't. Good. I'm awful. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, you can win. You can feasibly win. If you can discard three... Spells? Yeah, three spells. Well, do you want to go for it? There's no reason... Oh yeah, I need a target, so... Yeah, you don't have a target. I mean, you could have a target. I can also have desperate ravings <coughs> later, I guess. Yeah. Nah, that doesn't seem great. I think I just discard this for now. Okay. Playing it safe, I see. Well, like, that's silly, right? Yeah. Look, it wouldn't have worked. Yep. How come you stopped yielding? I don't know. <laughs> Man, how many mana sources could you feasibly get? Like, it's crazy. You have 11 cards left in your library. Yeah, that's quite a lot. I mean, you like win anyway, who cares? You should have six or something. Okay. You don't think that I should equip? Oh, mm, it doesn't no. matter. It does not matter. Well, no, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> like, you just win... I keep worrying about stuff like that and just forgetting that he hasn't damaged me at all because he played, like, Five spells this whole game. Six. He played a spider. And technically oh, yeah. seven because he flashed back his travel prep. Is that really it? It's his answer. He mulled the, he mulled the five. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that unfortunate truth. Yeah. And it's not an answer, it's just his only play. You don't even need to do that. No. Nope. <laughs> In fact, you probably shouldn't have because it gives him additional information, possibly. Yeah, I should have kept those lands, maybe. But it really it, doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, like. <laughs> you could feasibly. No, you don't have enough cheap spells. See, right there? I would have just tapped the island because it's faster. Okay. Because <laughs> it just doesn't matter. You just rolled over this guy on his mold of five. That's the thing. I don't think about what's fast. I just think about <coughs> habit, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I would always leave the mana up because that's just what I would do, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't change my play for moto, and I think that's probably part of what makes me slow. Mm. That's interesting, like, I'm sure that that's good. Like, I mean, you're better than me at tournaments and stuff like that. You, like, you, you typically outperform me. And I'm sure it's partly due to your good habits. Yeah, that's what but, I was like, saying. Like, I'm wondering if... Well, yeah, it is due to your good habits. But, like, I'm curious if, like, Moto is different enough so that, like... I don't know. Like, I play totally differently on Moto than I do in real life. But then how is it helping you, like cross-sectionally, you know, like, your experience on Moto, if you play totally differently, 
it's not giving you experience for paper magic, you know, and yeah. vice versa. 